what's going on guys Carl here and today I am going to show you the graphics settings that I use and why I think they are the best for competitive play so these settings are going to boost your FPS gains massively and what they're also going to do is make sure that visibility is maximized in as many different situations as possible so first things first I'm going to just show you my graphic settings right off the bat so if you want to copy these go ahead and throughout the rest of this video I'm just gonna explain why I use them what they do and the benefit of using these but anyway the most important one for me at least is making sure that you're using temporal filtering because the FPS gains that you get from this are absolutely incredible and the graphical difference is extremely min minimal so let's take a look at the uh, TX if I can click it the TXA four times technique so you can see now I'm at 72 FPS bear in mind that I'm recording so FPS um, is going to be a lot lower than it should be I'd usually be at about like 110 right now so let's use this and we'll use the TAAA post press anti-aliasing technique as well so as you can see extremely blurry because what TXA does is actually smooth surfaces so you get this like weird ghosting uh, smooth effect don't use this it's terrible I've seen videos on YouTube of people using this just please please don't it's you're not gonna see anybody using these settings well you will but it's gonna be a lot harder you're just gonna be hindering yourself for no reason so FXEA or off now there's no fps difference at all maybe two fps max so you may as well use fxaa it's going to be sharper and help with visibility and multi sample anti-aliasing if you've got like absolute monster rig and uh, you know you've got like triple 980 ti's or titans or whatever and you can still hit high frame rates then go ahead and use msaa eight times as you can see i can't run it with one 980 ti but very nice anti-aliasing technique makes everything very sharp um, I'd recommend this if you can run it if not and you're just you've just got a normal rig or a good rig you'll want to be using temporal filtering massive uh, it's, ju it's just too good too good uh, too good not to use so uh, lens effects is the second most important one I feel after the anti-aliasing so with lens effects you're going to want this off because look what the bloom and lens flare and bloom does when using scopes the visibility is really bad it's going to be hard for you to see people hiding in uh, dark shadowed corners and this is a common spot for glass players to play on bank for example now visibility is not so great and if something like this is gonna hinder your ability to pick up a kill I mean it's an easy kill if people walk past these positions let's be honest um, things like this can slow reaction time down because you might not be sure if they actually did peek you because of the horrible lighting coming from your scope so turn this off and you'll see how much better it is look at that visibility has improved by a shit ton now I know that's not a way of measuring things but it's just so good turn it off and you'll be able to see things a lot better now what I'm going to talk to you about is ambient occlusion now there's two types of ambient occlusion in Rainbow Six Siege there's HBAO plus which is Nvidia's AO and there's SSBC which is Ubisoft's AO so what ambient occlusion is if you didn't know it's when two surfaces meet to make a contact shadow and straight off the bat I'm going to say HBAO plus is a lot better it might not look as nice on the hand and the gun model but in terms of um, shadow accuracies it it's just a lot better than SSBC now I'm going to use SSBC for this just to show you one example okay so I placed a breeze charge Okay, it looks a little bit weird, but okay, we can get over that. I don't know what the hell is that. Okay, so you see this weird looking outline around it? This can happen with objects anywhere in the map. So if there's somebody hiding like behind, I don't know, a big 
plant pot or a chair or something, I don't know, whatever. A shadow could come off that and block him effectively, causing you, you might not be able to see him if he's hiding behind a weird shadowy outline what's not even supposed to be there. Um, I was actually unsure which one of these to use, so I did a lot of research and SSBC causes a lot of inaccuracies with shadows all the time and they don't render properly at medium to long ranges either which is super bad but you know the hand models and the gun models do look a little bit better arguably if that's the sort of thing you like i personally don't i'd rather go for the standard sort of semi washed out look with this but once you've got hbo plus back on look at that you know no glitches no inaccuracies no nothing this is the one you're going to be want to be using or have it off and for everything else it's going to be completely dependent on how powerful your pc is um, texture filtering uh, let's put it on linear as you can see not a big fps gain um, so you may as well have it on 16 times just going to make everything a little bit more easy to see um, text quality you know all the information is down the right hand side if you need it um, 4 gig 3 gig 2 gig 1 gig cards from very high to low and uh, zoom in depth of field this is one where I keep off just because it distracts me a little bit but it doesn't actually uh, do anything major it's not like the bokeh or bokeh I'm not sure how to pronounce it depth of field where everything around you blurs so you can't see shit this is actually a very subtle depth of field so this one's down to personal preference but i would just recommend turning it off um, a lot less distracting everything's just a little bit clearer on your screen um, around your gun so that should be everything covered of what actually matters in your graphic settings oh also not really graphics but field of view Make sure you've got it on 90. Please don't play it on 60. Oh my god, I'm going to throw up. But <laughs> if you're maybe new to like PC gaming or FPS or something and you don't know what field of view is, I don't know why you wouldn't. But let's say... Let's let's say I'm aiming over here, right? And I've got 60 FPS. 60 field of view. Oh god damn, this is horrible. Let's put it up to 90. Boom. I can see people here now. And that is the reason you want the highest field of view so you can see as much around you as possible yo one extra thing that i actually missed out even though it is super important make sure you have vsync off vsync on will increase input lag through your mouse and your keyboard and it will make aiming horrible do not have it on turn it off it will increase your frames rates and it will make aiming a lot easier but anyway that's everything thank you for watching guys um if this has helped you all please leave a like comment and I will see you in the next one. Peace.